Hello and welcome back to Pattern Making with Let Morris. We're just going to continue uh, where we left off. We're making the pattern for this dress. We've done the bodies, um, the bands, back and the front. And now we're going to be going on to the sleeve. Um, I just want to say t thanks for watching. And please remember to comment down below. If there's something you want to see again or you would like to see and I will get on to it. I'll get back to you. But please comment. Don't forget. And um, thank you again for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're going to continue now with the sleeve. I'll just remind you at the end of the video um, when we come to the end of it. So now we're going to be going on to the sleeve and once again this sleeve has got like a little cap sleeve and we've got a straight sleeve with a cutaway showing a bit of your arm there. So we're just going to create that now and once again we need your sleeve block to do this. Um, so that's your sleeve block here. So once you've got that we're ready to go. So you've got your sleeve block and what I've done is I've traced off the sleeve block on a new sheet of paper. So you need your paper, whatever paper you're working on, your tools. So I've traced that all off, put my grain line on, um, put my notches in where it's the back and where it's the front on there. So I've done a trace off before and now all I have to do is to create the styling of the um, little cap sleeve from the, from my sleeve block. So I've actually traced that off. I put my grain line on always. And what I've done here, I've decided on how far down I want that line to start and how long I want it from the end of the shoulder, the little cap to be. And I've decided that. Uh, I say about five inches from the end of your shoulder. So I've measured down five inches and I've put a mark. And then all I do, I just shape that. I've, I've, I'm just going to shape a line right across like that to give me my, my cap sleeve. And then I'm at the same time, I'm going to create my style line for the rest of my sleeve. So I go up about an inch, inch and a quarter. From that line that I've marked because I want the sleeve to go under under the cap so I've measured up there and then I've put a mark and then I just curve that round I want to get a nice curve and I do the same thing inch and a half up at the front and I'm just going to curve the line you do that you can do use your curve or if you've got a good run with your steady hands so I'm just going to highlight these style lines that I've put on here so that is one style line you know I just curve that round an inch and a half up from that line and this is what I'm going to do is to highlight the other line with another color so this is the cap the cap section here this line in orange that I've got. It's an orange colour. I don't know if it's coming up. So that's the other section. So actually I'm going to shade it in a bit. So that you can see. Which is from there. Along there. This is my cap sleeve area. And the bottom. The other part of the sleeve. Is from there. All the way down. Along there. All the way there so I am now going to create my pattern from these pieces so um, I am going to just trace off this orange section here which is my cap area um, I'm just going to put two little notches in there to represent my back and I'm going to put one at the front there one at that section there and one two for there for the back so you don't get mixed up so with another sheet of paper I'm going to trace off the um, the top cap sleeve cap area of my um, 
that I've marked on here in the orange. So you can trace it off by putting that, if you've got a thin paper and you can see right through, or you can put it the sheet of paper underneath and you can just um, trace it off with your tracing wheel because that's what your tracing wheel is used for. So you trace around the head of the sleeve, just past there and you come along that part there because that's the orange piece that you want and you just go up from that section here around the head of the sleeve with your tracing wheel and don't forget to put your grain line on there because that is a help so you've got that traced off so all you do is to take your pattern your draft away and you put in your grain line and you mark on now your new your cap sleeve area which is around here these parts just follow it round where you've traced it off so that is your sleeve that's the grain line here and then all you do is just add your seam allowance on there so we're going to put your notches in to tell you that that's the back and one for the front so once you've done that you just add your seam allowance which is a centimetre around the head of the sleeve. I'll just mark those in. And also, we'll put a quarter of an inch at the bottom here, because you don't, you don't need a big seam here at that end, and that meets there. So that is your now, that's your cap sleeve. That's your little cap sleeve there. And you just right on there, you're going to cut two of those and once you do that you can just cut out and then what we're going to do we're going to face put a little facing to face that cap out there so it's nice when it's finished so all we do is we just cut out on your seam allowance that you have allowed like that and you cut out here around the bottom and then you put your notches in put your notches in for the back your center notch here and that one there and then you place that on another sheet of paper just to make your facing while you're at it we just do the facing so we put that on the grain the grain on the grain line and all we do is just copy off the bottom of the sleeve to about an inch inch and a quarter up to make the facing you only need a little um, little facing on there and you just mark around there and up a little bit on this side along here as well up here along that side and then you just measure it along your inch and a quarter along there and that is a facing for to face out the bottom of your cap sleeve so once you've got that you're going to cut right on there you come right on there cap sleeve facing and we're going to cut two of those and you could even do a facing on there to keep that nice and firm plus a fuse you can put a fuse on the facing so once again you so you don't get mixed up you put two little notches there to tell you that goes towards the back and one there to tell you that when you're cutting out that goes towards the front so we'll cut that out later so that's your cap section piece done and all we do is on the other section we're going to mark out the rest of the purple section here that we've got. So once again, we're going to have a straight line on our paper where we put the grain line on that straight line so that we um, make sure that the pattern's lining up straight. So we place that grain line on top of that grain line, make sure it's going on top. And once again, with a tracing wheel, we're going to trace off the lower section of the sleeve, which goes from here around, nice shape, 
up to there and then we're going to go down the rest of the arm armhole or the sleeve head rather and then we're going to go down we're going to take it down trace off there straight line down to the bottom cross to the there and along here and then we just trace from that section here around to there so once we've got that and don't forget to put your um your balance mark to tell you you don't get mixed up which is the back and which is the front so we're going to come are we going to go, go down to there 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 and we want to take it to that point and we just connect up the lines from there to there like that straight line along there and along here and then we'll just come round this section here now into there and we're going to put one notch there and two little notch there to tell us that's the back and we just connect up this these lines that we've traced off here so this is the lower section of our sleeve that's your grain line on there and all we do is just add we only need a quarter of an inch around there again like we've got on the bottom of the cap sleeve because we're going to face this section here out as well and we need a centimeter around here that's the the arm the sleeve arms and then we need a centimeter down the sides centimeter down the side centimeter on the hem because we're just going to stitch the hem and if you want a bigger hem you can felling it you can do three quarters to an inch but we're just going to allow for stitching the hem and we have the centimeter up there and that is your the bottom half of the sleeve so that is your cap bet so you're going to have your notch here where this sleeve is going to come to and we're going to put the notches in there where that comes to on there so that's why i said it's important not to throw away your draft so all you do is just put that back onto your your block your draft and you just put a notch where that laps over so we need a notch there and we need one here where it laps over here so we need one here so we don't get confused so we need these notches are very important so they connect up and connect up so we need to put those notches in as we do as we do so we know that that goes to there so once we've got that that is the shape of our sleeve now so we're going to cut two of those and that is a sleeve so that come that finishes off the sleeve so you've got your little cap sleeve where it goes over like that and like that like that that finishes your sleeve like that where you've got your notch where it laps over underneath for the under sleeve and that's a notch where it touches there so those are your little cap and then you have that spacing in there for your you'll see that part of your your arms coming out from there if you want to make that distance longer you can do so so when you go when you're doing your draft which is like that if you want to make this lower so you have more arms showing all you do is just make that just come down lower lower but still keep it in a nice give it a nice curve and then back up to that point that you're overlapping it so it just depends on on how deep you want how much skin you want to show there so that's the idea of how you create how you create the pattern for your sleeve for that design so there we go so the sleeves are all complete and the next task we have to do the pattern for the the skirt which is um it's got like a cowl um draping at the sides back and front 
some gathers at the front and some pleats at the back and also a knife pleat on the back of this um, this drawing. So the next time we're back, we'll be going through that. So I'm going to take another break and we will be back very shortly. So don't forget to subscribe and like and share as you go along. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.